Welcome to JB Technicians, and I am JB. Friends, today we will talk about relays and explain everything about relays to you. Friends, relays come in various types and voltages, but today we will explain to you about the 8-pin relay and the 220-volt relay. We will show you its connections practically and demonstrate turning on the contactor. So, first of all, I will show you its diagram, and let me keep saying this to you that whatever electrical accessory we bring to you or make a video about, we will not just tell you verbally, but also try to show its diagram, and most importantly, we will definitely show its practical Our effort will be to practically show you whatever accessory we are bringing. So, let's start. First, I will show you the diagram of this. This is our 8-pin relay. As you can see, this is an 8-pin relay. We will tell you everything about it. And this is its base, where we will show you the connections. And this contactor will be turned on through this relay. So, friends, let's first make its diagram and show it to you and tell you about it. This is an 8-pin relay. And each of the eight pins has its own function. I will tell you about these functions. So first, let me tell you about the connections of its eight pins. It goes something like this. It has numbers. The two you see first are 1 and 8. The two points are 2 and 7. When you look at this base, you will see all this numbering. And the two points are 3 and 6. And in the end, the two points are 4 and 5. the numbering and points, let me tell you that point 1 and 8 is the common and 2 or 7 these points are for the coil three or six are your normally open points NO meaning four or five of these two points are NC. Friends, this means that when we turn on the coil and your three and six, which are normally open, they will close with one and eight, giving current to one or eight, and four and five, which are normally NC, in the closed state, when the coil is not on, they are closed with it. So, let's take you to its practical side and show it practically. First, I will tell you about making coil connections. Two or seven. We will make connections to these two points. We are making connections to these two points. Let me tell you that these both are coil points. When current is given to the coil, it will turn on and the relay will start working. Now we are making connections to 2 and 7. After that, the point 8. We will make it common with 7, meaning we will give current from 7 to it.
This is your point seven. We will give current to 8 from 7. This is your 8. Friends, all these points have their distinct function. But gradually, in the coming videos, I will practically tell you about all eight points and their functions. About NC and NO. Now I am making the connections for its contactor. Which we will turn on with the relay. Friends, neutral is common. So we will take neutral directly from here. We will join the neutral directly. This is our contactor. Its coil is also 220. We are making connections to the neutral of its coil. And now connecting the other coils positive. That is live wire. Now the output we have taken for the contactor. As you know, three or six, which are normally open points. When the relay works, they will close. When they close, our contactor will start working. We use this relay in various places to turn on timers, to turn on contractors. That is in our auto electric system. Relay is very important. For all electric work, that means the electric system operates through relay friends as you are seeing. We have also made connections to our contactor, made connections in the base as well. Now in this, I will put the relay We have put the relay in this. And now we will check by turning on the electric line. And now we have given it the electric line. You are seeing, friends, as soon as the electric line was turned on, the, the contactor started working. And through the coil, it went down automatically. When it goes down, the electric contactor turns on. And in the off state, it comes up. So friends, let me show you again. Check its electric line after turning it off. You are seeing, turned it on, the relay started working. So friends, if you like our video, subscribe like share and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get the upcoming videos